Hello everyone, welcome to Bees Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the G.I. Joe Classified series, Robert Grunt Graves. Now Grunt's going to be one of the OG-13s, he's basically the America's, you know, fighting infantryman um, for the G.I. Joe team. And they kind of set it up where he's a troop builder as a green shirt. We'll, uh, we'll touch on that as we, we dive in, but let's get into it. So he comes with our plastic-free packaging. Uh, he does have some plastic ties. You get a nice little shot of him on the front. You got your, it looks like a Black Hawk helicopter there. You got a crash helicopter there. Some fire. Uh, mine has like a CM right here. I don't, it's, it's not scratched in. It's not drawn in. It's just kind of in there. And I don't, I don't know. It's there. You get your shot of the artwork. You get all his kit. The, uh, he's going to be number 87, the Sidney Crosby of the line. You get that shot again, he's checking out his little tablet. Looking good. In the back we get a close up of the tablet screen. We get a, a zoom in of his pouches. And then we get his whole loadout right there. So there you have it. He comes uh, like plastic tied into this cardboard. Get that shot again on the back. Looks pretty good. I wish they'd uh, release this artwork like they did all the other artwork. I'd probably pick some of it up. You get your goofy weapons locker, you know, G.I. Joe one way, name the other way, everything's backwards. I like the idea of the Pelican case, it just doesn't, doesn't sit well, doesn't land well um, when it comes down to it. So we'll get into his accessories here. He's got a rucksack, um, all green. Got some pouches sculpted into it, some buckles and stuff. A little bit of color goes a long way, but... It is what it is. You got some pegs on the side for the weapons, obviously. You guys know those, those go through the uh, trigger guards to hold the weapons. You get a helmet, and it's very uh, like pliable, but it looks good. A little tactical helmet. It's got the rails and stuff all molded onto it, sculpted into it, whatever you call it. Looks good. Brown strap, unbuckled. Great detailing right there on the buckle, though. If I can get that to show with the light. Nothing too uh, too fancy. You customizers will have a field day painting that up. Steel core helmet, which we'll circle back into here in a little bit. Uh, the yellow paint, the gold paint for the lenses kind of looks goofy. It looks like not on well. Maybe it's like a, the silver kind of overspray. I mean, that's a that's a whole separate head. That's a headpiece. So it's not just a helmet. It's a headpiece. You get this uh, M16 style long gun. Looks pretty good. You get a big magazine. Clips up into the magazine wheel. Slap it up in there. That looks good. And it's... Uh, Shark Eyes mentioned it. It's pretty solid. It's not as flimsy as the others some of the other weapons we've gotten recently so i'll take it you get the uh was it the xlmr xmlr the the cartoon rifle um looks awesome it's got the porthole for blast effects green green stock definitely a lot of fun long overdue um and just because i know there's gonna be some guy in the in the comments asking about it If you pick up some extras, you can equip Snow Job with it. Just like, uh, he should have came with it. Moving forward, I'm hoping we see, uh, maybe this and then that Cobra cartoon gun we got with the, uh, the Snow Serpents and the Valkyries, kind of, with every Cobra Trooper, then this with every Joe Trooper, something, something along those lines. Like, just kind of like a standard issue, almost, moving forward. Um, and get rid of those freaking... Wave 1 pistols. So you have that. Comes with it as I throw it. Just a simple generic pistol. Nothing special about it like we've seen with like a Cover Girl and Spirit and all them. And shipwreck with no, uh, no extra pizzazz. Just a regular old pistol. Porthole for blast effects. Or suppressors. Then you get 
silver knife with knife with the black handle, silver blade. Going into the figure himself, he looks pretty good. I'm glad he didn't turn into a uh, another falcon. He's got a nice little part in his hair, a little slicked over fade action. Love this vest. I'm I'm all for mil spec gear. You guys know that. You guys know that I love uh, different plate carriers. This plate carrier is fantastic. Um, it's got the little gizmo here in the front. It does come out. Putting it back in is a pain in the ass because it's like got like a, like a like the peg like flares out. So you gotta like send it in one way and then work the other side in. But you flip the screen down. It's like a little little blue force tracker. It lets you know what's going on on the battlefield. You got E4 Graves and American flag on it. The mold is going to be the same mold that we've seen with Stalker, Dusty, Retro Snake Eyes. Who else am I missing? Is that everybody? Um, I'm not mad about it because it's definitely a good trooper mold. It looks good. We got some. We got this new belt. Holster is going to be here in the back. We'll load him up as we go. Knife sheath in right there. He's got a little Joe Pro communicator up on the on the strap right there. Dark green pouches on the shoulders. Got some looks like painted mag pouches down below there. Pistol pistol holsters right in that back of that belt. And then we still have the like just look at the molly. The molly detail going all the way around. I'm all for it. The belt's kind of weird though. It is it does keep sliding out of place. Um but once you once you get it where you want it, it looks good. Then you got your pouches on the on the legs, they look awesome. Maybe your IFAC and some magazines. Brown pouches, green buckles. It looks good. Then you got black and green boots. Those are pretty solid. Throw the helmet on him here. There he is with the helmet. I am all for this. And that looks good. Wouldn't have mind a little bit extra color up there. Nothing I can't try to fix. I'm no customizer, you guys know that. Vala versus as far as customizing as I go, and that's basically made to be kit bashed for certain parts. So we'll get the Steel Brigade head on. I'm sorry, Steel Core head. And then we'll do some comparisons with the Steel Brigade. That looks mean. That looks good. So there you have your steel core head, green and silver. We got the uh, the blue steel core coming down here not too long. Excited for that. We have the green Valiverse steel brigade head. Put them next to them. So you take that how you uh, how you want it, and then we got. This is the only steel uh, steel brigade figure I have in full steel brigade gear. The rest are kit bashed on the duster bodies, but we'll save him for the uh, the steel core when they arrive. But there you have it. You guys gonna troop build these uh, these steel core? You gonna troop build grunt just as grunt with the uh, with the gear? Maybe throw some different helmets on them, different heads. Um, maybe you got that Marvel Marvel Legends Agents head pack. Actually, let me see if uh, that fits real quick. All right, I lied. They don't. They don't fit the uh, the peg for Grunt is too small for the uh, giant peg for this, and then the skin tones would be all over the place. But there you have it. There's Grunt. Hopefully, we see uh, maybe some selfie series with this, or you know, the Steel Core. Just a troop builder, I'm sure they would sell a lot better than just doing snake eyes, but what do I know, huh? I'm just the customer. That's Grunt, which, go, one other caveat here. E4, um, in the 80s it was different than it is now, and E4 now is a specialist, and there's nothing too special about becoming a specialist in the Army. Um, it's I think just, you can be 18 months time in service with a waiver, or just 24 months and it's an automatic promotion to the grade of E4, so... You could literally skid under the radar or be a shitbag and still get promoted to specialist um, as long as you're passing PT and weapon school. 
So it's kind of kind of funny that he ends up on the uh, the Joe team, you know, the the elite operators as an E4. But um, 80s was different than it is today. But that's on there. That's not. I mean, you could probably remove it with some paint, something like that, some uh, nail polish remover. I think I, someone's saying something along those lines. I'll probably just uh, when I troop build, probably just grab uh, some OD paint or like a little marker or sharpie or something like that, and just. Just quick line over it, call it good. But that's it. That's Grunt. I'm all for it. He looks great. I'm Bobby B from Bees Battlegrounds. Until next time, load up, grab your kit. I'll see you on the battlegrounds.